Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a really, really, really long video. It's going to be my entire jacket try on collection. So today I'm going to be trying on all of my outerwear pieces for you guys and ranting about them. I'm a rambler, so grab a cup of tea, get yourself a snack, a cup of coffee, whatever you're into, and settle in for a long video. I'm going to get straight into it. Um, so most of my cupboards, um, not most of my cupboards, most of my jackets live in this cupboard that you always see behind me. There's a little sneak peek, they all live in there, and I'm going to be pulling them out one by one and trying them on for you. Um, all my hangers, by the way, that I keep them on are just these velvet hangers. These are from Kmart, and they all match, and they're all like a black, nice velvet hangers, so they make my closet look cohesive and stuff. But yeah, that's all the stuff about how I keep my coats. Um, I'm going to get right into it. This first jacket I bought in Taiwan. I'm going to go in like kind of a colour order. I bought this one in Taiwan years and years ago. Um, I think I was 18 at the time. I just graduated high school and I went to Taiwan for a like little trip um, to learn Mandarin. Um, I don't know if I learnt that much because I could speak Mandarin but I was kind of there to practice my reading and writing and I don't know how much it improved, but I had a lot of life lessons learnt there and I learned a lot of skills. And I also bought this jacket. It's kind of, that's my knee there. So it kind of goes just below my knees. Um, it kind of needs a de-pill, like it's kind of pilled up because it's like this felt material. Um, I'm sorry that my camera really washes me out when I wear dark colours on here, but um, yeah, well, let me just put this back up. Oh, please don't fall off. There we go. Um, but yeah, I really like this jacket because... It has this really cute hood. Wait, that was not how I planned it to go. It has this really cute hood. Um, I really like how it sits so like wide. And then when I pop it up, it's a really like wide hood. Let me hop down to show you better. Um, and the hood has a really cute fluffy pom-pom on the top. So it's just very cute and cozy. When I was in Taiwan, I didn't pack th that many clothes to go with me. So I bought a couple of like outerwear and like bigger items when I was there because I got really cold. Um, and this is one of the items I bought. The pom-pom is so soft. I don't know if you can see, but it's just like a really luxurious pom-pom. I bought this from like, oh, I can't remember. It must have been one of those like stores in a shopping fashion district area. Um, it just closes with this one clip kind of clasp. It has a pocket on each side. The clasp like closes like a snap. It's like that. But I don't usually close it that often unless it's really cold. It's got a pocket on each side. Um, it's lined and I just love this jacket because it's so big. It's probably like my largest jacket. Um, and it's just like a really good basic black jacket. I kind of get like Japanese or like, I don't know, not Japanese, like Korean or like any Asian drama vibes from this, like I feel like if I was a guy, who oh no, probably not a guy, if I was a girl in an Asian drama, I'd be wearing this as I'm like in the rain, I don't know, it's just part of the image I had in my mind when I bought it, because obviously um, the fashion in Asia, I feel like it's really like centered around K-dramas, I don't know, maybe that's just like what I could see, but um, I felt like everyone was dressing like really like cute and like having a moment in the rain, and so I wanted to be dressing cute and have a moment in the rain. Right, so I bought this, and I bought it in black because it's versatile. I also bought another jacket in Taiwan, which I'll show you later, but um, yeah, this is the first one I got, and I really like how the collar sits so wide with the hood on the back, um, and I like to wear this out at night, especially because um, it's a good, like, nighttime, like, over-the-top-of-everything jacket. Um, if you can tell, the inside is full of glitter. I don't remember what I wore this with last, but uh, I've got glitter all through the inside, and hair, this, okay, I'm actually not going to put this back in my cupboard. I need to get a de-pillar and de-pill this, which will be very satisfying. Also, the seam on the inside of this sleeve is ripped. So inside this sleeve here, it's like ripped, um, which is kind of upsetting. So I might sew that up. Um, as you can tell, this jacket is very well loved, but um, I absolutely obsess over this jacket. I wonder if my dog would think the pom-pom's cool. She might. Anyway, that's something I need to do in a bit. Um, let me show you a jacket that's not really like... I don't know, it's not like a fashion outerwear piece, but you'll get what I mean when I show you. Okay, so this is my Cheer Nationals jacket from 2020. Last year I was a two-time national champion, both with my university and with my all-star team. And so I tossed up between getting just the one jacket and getting two. I ended up just settling for the one jacket, but I could have bought two of these jackets. Um, I wear this all the time, um, and it just is like a national champion ASCF jacket, which is, ASCF is the Australian All-Star Cheerleading Federation. It says 2020 national champion on it. Um, it's lined with this like fluffy white kind of soft cotton material um, and then this is what the back looks like. Oops, oh my gosh, I almost fell over my chair. Okay, this is really not working out. But yeah, this is what the back looks like. It says 
um, 2020 National Champion, All Star Strong with the little Ascaf logo, Cheer and Dance. And then also I'll show you on the um, collar. The collar also has like a little detail on it as well. It's got these like um, ribbed cuffs and also the bottom does not have anything. Um, it's a metal zip up jacket and um, on the back of the collar there it just says national champion this is a size medium i got because i wanted to fit like comfy and oversized so yeah love this jacket because it says i'm a national champion and that was something i worked really hard for and i was really happy when i was a national champion on both my teams i was so proud of my teams um but yeah that's just a really lovely memory i was so stoked to earn this jacket um Love it, love it, makes me very happy, but it's not as much of a fashionable piece, if you know what I mean. Like, it's not something that's like fashionable rather than just like, you know what I mean. Okay, I'll show you the next jacket now. I'm going through all my black jackets first because the front of my closet on this side is like black and then it works its way over here to like white. So, um, yeah, we're gonna go through the whole rainbow, but there's a lot of black to start off with because I just love wearing black, especially jackets. It's like jackets are an investment and like. Getting a black jacket, it's like versatile, you can wear it with so many things. Um, this is a jacket from Dottie, I believe it's a size, oh my gosh, I should have checked before I put it on. It's like a fake leather jacket, like a pleather jacket, a faux leather jacket, it's a size 8 and I feel like it fits me really well, totally rate the size 8 in this jacket, it just looks like this, um, and I love it. I actually bought this in yellow first and I will show that to you later, um, but after loving the yellow one so much I picked it up in black. And this is my perfect leather jacket. It's a little bit cropped, which is my preference. I just feel like um, it's more flattering on my frame. I'm five, four and a half, so I feel like um, a cropped jacket looks better on me. It looks a little crinkly right now because it's been in the cupboard for so long, but I don't mind. Um, it has these like detachable little um, strap things on the side, so it's got these little details. And then you can just like clip or unclip them um, depending on what you like. There's like little um, clip on the other side and then on the other side there's also those two clips um it's got zip up pockets oops the lining's coming out it's got zip up pockets on each side which i think is really cute i like that it's got silver hardware it's got a little zip up there so it's like a nice little detail i really like the moto style of this jacket the way the um collar lies on the chest i think that looks really good and i like that you can um, either button these down to kind of like have it sitting flat like open like this or you can unbutton it and you could zip it up all the way, like all the way up if you wanted, which is another like kind of moto look. Um, just think it's really cute. The sleeves zip up and unzip like this. And I've worn this so much because obviously it's a black leather jacket. It goes with everything. I wish I wore it even more because I really just think like a black leather jacket is so like classic and trendy and just like it always looks good. Um, so I wish I wore this more than I even do already because I just love the way leather jackets look and they just give like a little bit of edge and class to an outfit. Um, it has these little clip details at the top here if you want to use those. Um, and yeah, 10 out of 10. I love this jacket. If you're going to buy a jacket from Dottie, um, I would say wait because they always have like a 30, maybe even 40% off sale going on. So wait it out for a little bit and then grab your size when they have one of those like sales store wide or like just on jackets or just on knitwear. They always have like those sales and stuff. So wait it out and get it on sale because it will go on sale. I'll show you what the back looks like off because every time I turn around, something something goes on. I fall off my chair. Um, this is what the back of the jacket looks like. It's just got one panel and then it goes down with the seam there, like if that makes sense. And then it goes into the bottom. And I just feel like the cropped length of this jacket is very flattering on me. Um, it also has this little hook up here if you want to like hang it on something. I rarely do, but um, I prefer a faux leather jacket because obviously I am vegetarian. Actually, it's not that obvious. I'm vegetarian. It's obvious to me because I've been vegetarian for like years and years and years. Um, but I'm vegetarian, so I prefer to buy faux leather over like genuine leather. Um, I'm not opposed to buying like genuine leather or genuine fur if it's secondhand because I don't feel like I'm contributing so much to the industry, but um, yeah, I prefer to buy faux leather and faux fur um, if I'm purchasing it if I'm purchasing it firsthand myself. So yeah, um, I know there are a lot of really nice um, real leather looking jackets out there, but this is the nicest faux leather one that I have found, and I really like the look of this. Um, for a faux leather jacket, I think it's a good price point, um, really good quality, and I love it. So, yeah, if you're in the market for a faux leather jacket, I recommend Dotty, um, especially for, like, a slightly more cropped kind of jacket. Um, the next jacket I have to show you is actually, wait, let me, like, get it out. It's actually, um, fur, and I think this might be the only fur jacket I own that's real fur. I think it is. This was purchased secondhand and was gifted to me, um, by my auntie. And she um, gave this to me for Christmas 
not last Christmas, but the Christmas before. Um, and so it's a secondhand fur coat. Um, she knows that I'm not really into buying um, new fur, and so when she saw this um, secondhand fur one, she knew that I'd be a bit more comfortable with it. It is a bit, I don't know, it's a bit odd because it is an animal, but um, it's a very beautiful animal, and um, what am I going to do with it now? So, you know, now I have it in my possession. She bought it at a thrift store um, at like a Vinnie's. I think it was a Vinnie's, yeah. I think it was like not that expensive as well. We were in the Vinnie's with my boyfriend and her and me and um, my boyfriend spotted this jacket and she said, I'm buying that for you for Christmas, Emily. And I said, really? Thank you. Because I tried it on and I was like, oh, I don't know. It's real fur. And she was like, I'm buying it for you for Christmas. Don't even worry about it. And I was like, oh my goodness. It does have a little like closure. I'm not sure how to show you. It like, I'm not going to be able to show you. It has like a little like hook and it kind of like goes over a loop like that. If that makes sense. There's like a loop on this side that kind of sits against the jacket and then this side has like a hook that goes down. I know that sound, looks really crude, but you get what I mean. It's like a hook and eye kind of closure. Um, it kind of has this like collared kind of effect going on. Not effect, it is like a little mini collar going on. It's all black fur, which I find very versatile and very classy. Um, full length sleeves, it's very, very soft. I'm not sure what kind of fur this is made of. Let's see. It says made in Korea. I don't know what fur it is though. But yeah, it's just very, very beautiful. It has a brown lining. Um, it's kind of like this shiny material. Um, I'm trying to like describe more things about it. This is the length of it. So it just like kind of hits at a really like classy length in my opinion. It's very, very high quality. It's, it's very beautiful. Um, what is it made of? I don't know. I'm sorry, I really don't know. Um, and I'm not like a obviously um fur experts so I wouldn't be the one to like look at it and be like mm, yes this is definitely fox or whatever like I I wouldn't know so yeah it's very beautiful um I wear it on special occasions and I cherish it very much it's very beautiful um it's a fur jacket like I never thought I'd have a fur jacket because I'm a veggie and I don't know anyway I love it though um by the way I didn't tell you guys what I'm wearing right now um this t-shirt that I'm wearing, not t-shirt, this tank top is the Lululemon Align tank. I always wear this tank in my try on collection videos just because it's a really basic fitted tank that's like kind of neutral so you can kind of see what um, each piece looks like on. Um, and it just looks like this at the back. You can see, oh like my tag's sticking out, excuse me. Um, it just has a little Lululemon um, logo at the back and then these are the Align leggings um, in the full length. 28 inches, they're just plain black full length leggings. I just wanted to wear a really basic outfit when I was trying on all these things for you guys so that um, it would be neutral and not get in the way or distract from the things I'm showing you. Also the back of this jacket is totally plain, there's nothing on it, it's really classy, basic, simple, classic, I'm repeating myself. You get the idea, it's just really nice, I like that it is so simple because I'm into the simple things. Not really, you'll see some crazier ones later on, actually maybe not, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Okay, so this next jacket I have to show you is a, like, short sleeve blazer. This is actually the only blazer I have in my collection, and I don't even think it fits me that well. Like, I could probably get a better fitting blazer, uh, but I am not really someone who wears a lot of, like, corporate or, like, formal blazery type clothes in my day-to-day -day life. It's not really something that I wear a lot of, so I don't really feel the need to pick up a better blazer at the moment. But it's just this grey um, blazer, and then it has this, like, pinstripe. Um, white detail it's like made like that so it doesn't unfold it is supposed to be like that it has kind of a wider lapel um and it's this length i don't know how to describe it. it's this length here it just kind of hits um just above the bottom of my bum um this is what the back looks like and then it has um just one button but i never button it up because i feel like that is like too tight or like looks weird i don't know it has these pockets i don't think they're real <gasps> they are real i never use them um i wear this too i don't know like if i have a job in Ugh, let me say that again if I had a job interview, I would wear this, um, but it's not really something I wear a lot because I don't work in, um, like I work in an office, but I don't work in a scenario where I need a jacket. I didn't even know it had a pocket up here. Okay, well, it's not a real pocket, I don't think, so I don't think it matters. Anyway, yeah, I don't work in a scenario where I wear a blazer very much, so it's not something I wear to work. It's not something I wear to uni. Um, it's not my style. And I don't really wear this um, in my future career. I won't wear this in my future career either because... I'm going to become a nurse and I will probably wear scrubs, probably. So I don't really see myself needing a really good blazer collection. So yeah, I just have this on. Um, I do think it's cute and I like the, like, I don't know. I feel like this is a little bit more casual, a little bit more my vibe. Um, and I do like it. This was just, 
I think my mum gave it to me years ago. I don't really have a very big um, corporate closet, if that makes sense. I don't really have a lot of corporate wear in my closet, but yeah, I do like this one. It's the only one I have, and I keep it for a reason, you know? I feel like it's good to have, like, one blazer. Okay, the next item is a little bit crazier, and you've seen me hold this on my channel before. This is my pink fur coat. Obviously, this is faux. Look at it. It's crazy. Um, I bought this myself from Dotty. Um, it's a size small, but I actually didn't purchase this from Dotty. I bought this secondhand off Depop. A girl bought this for a festival, but then due to COVID, this festival was cancelled, and she didn't want the jacket anymore, and I had always wanted a giant pink shaggy jacket, so... I purchased it and I love it. I've worn it multiple times since. I just think it's great. It keeps me warm when I need to be warm. And you know, I don't always feel like wearing a real fur jacket. This is a lot more my, um, I don't know, I, I don't want to ruin it. Um, and this one I'm not as scared of ruining, but also I do really value this jacket. I feel like you can like see a lot of like fluff is coming off it at the moment. Um, but that, usually when I wear it, that's not so much of an issue. It has one, two, three, four. Yeah, it has four clasps and you can kind of see these clasps better. They kind of are like this, and there's like a hook and an eye. You can like clip them like that. I'm glad you were able to see that. I wasn't making inappropriate gestures earlier, I promise. Anyway, um, well, I wasn't meaning to. Um, it's just a plain pink um, jacket, and it has pockets as well, which is amazing. Um, I forgot to say if my actual... Both sides have pockets, by the way. Um, I forgot to say if my actual fur coat has pockets. Um, I don't believe it does. Oh, actually, the actual fur coat, the like black fur coat, it has pockets as well on both sides. Um, I don't wear it that often, um, because I haven't been going anywhere in COVID, so, um, I haven't worn it out that often, but yeah, where am I going to wear a fur jacket to in the middle of COVID? But yeah, really like this jacket. Um, I feel like it's very girly. It's kind of like a rock star vibe. You know, I can imagine if I was a rock star, I would wear a pink shaggy jacket. Um, I'm not planning on becoming a rock star anytime soon, but I could with a jacket like this. Um, yeah, Depop, love it. But also it's Sports Girl, not Sports Girl, I'm lying. It's from Dottie. Love it, love it, love it. I've always wanted a pink shaggy jacket. And this is the one. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say about it other than I like how it's kind of shaggier rather than like a classy fur. Wait, let me compare the fur jackets for you. So this is like a classier fur. It's a bit more like ooh la la. This is a bit shaggy. It's a bit more woohoo. Um, and I feel like it's nice that my black one, black is a classier colour. It's a bit more... She's a bit more like, ooh. And then this one, she's a bit more like, wahoo. She's pink. She's a bit more crazy. So I like that um, both of my jackets that are furry, they have their own vibes, you know? Anyway, okay, I'll show you the next thing now. I'm just rambling. This next item I have had in my closet for ages. I think I wore this on my boyfriend and I's third date. Yes, I did. We went to the city and it was like a French festival. It was like a little market. It was so nice. This is actually a gift that I got from um, my mum's cousin. It is ASOS Petite. It's a UK size 4, US 0, U, EU 32. Yeah, I don't really shop on ASOS that much anymore, but um, there are all the details if you want to have a look. Um, this is really, really old though, so I don't think they'll make this anymore. I really like wearing red, and I, I kind of want to wear red more. This is a really cute jacket, and I keep it because it makes me feel like a little red riding hood because it's like this dark burgundy red this is like a 2014 tumbler red if that makes sense i don't know it's really it's really cute in my opinion it has gold hardware it has this gold zip um and you can zip it up at the front if you want you can also clip it closed i used to wear this so much in high school when i was like going out oh my gosh i love this jacket it's kind of a longer length and i kind of wear this as though it's like a mini trench coat it has pockets on the side with what is this I don't know what this is. It says, please hold till number is called and hand in. I don't know what I was getting called for, but there's whatever's in the pocket. Is there anything in this one? This is a door. Oh my gosh, this is so random. This door was on one of my Polly Pocket toys when I was a kid. One of those like mini Polly Pockets. Um, and this broke off my Polly Pocket toy. Anyway, that was really random. Um, I'll put that back in my pocket for another day. But yeah, I really like how it has all these button closures. So you can like have it like this kind of level of buttoned up. Or you could have it on this level of buttoned up and really buttoned up. It has these details here on the shoulders. So you can unbutton these if you want. And it also has this detail here on the cuff, which is really cute. Um, this is a really, really decent um, 
how do I even call this? Ignore the dog fur. It's like a felt kind of material. I'm not sure if I'm calling it the right kind of material. If it's something else, then let me know. Um, and I love the hood on this. Again, this is one of those hoods that I just feel like frames the face really nicely. It sits really well. It doesn't like sag in a weird way or like look like this. It's like a cute hood. Um, and I just feel like really cute in it. Um, yeah, that's all. Um, the black, the back is plain. Um, and yeah, love this jacket so much. It also has this thing on the inside. Um, it's like a little drawstring. So if you want to like really cinch in the waist, I don't know if you can tell, but like I just cinched in the waist. You can like pull this in and like make the waist really like cinched by like adjusting these little, um, straps on the side. And so when you wear it, it's like your little cinched waist moment and you can make it really tiny. Um, I don't usually make it that tiny, but you know, you can have a cute little moment in this. Um, the gold hardware I think on it is really cute and that's all I have to say. It's just like this. Love this jacket. Cute in the winter and I feel like a little red riding hood in this one. Okay, the next jacket I have to show you guys is also red um, and they live next to each other in the closet. By the way, if you're wondering where these are going, I have a bag, excuse me, I have like an Ikea bag on the floor and they're all going in the Ikea bag and I'm going to hang them all up after this video which will be a really exciting job. But you know, someone's got to do it. Anyway, this one you saw me haul on my channel already. This is from Depop as well and ever since I watched that show on TV Glee, I always loved um, how the Cheerios have these really cute um, varsity jackets that are like the Cheerio jackets um, and as you know obviously I'm a cheerleader as well and my cheer team doesn't have like really old school varsity jackets but I always wanted one and so I got this one off Depop and it's the perfect one. It's perfectly oversized, it's so cute and snuggly and I feel so cute when I wear it. Um, it says April because I believe in the 60s the original cheerleader who owned this, her name was April so yeah it says that on it. Um, it has these like um, leather lined pockets I believe this is leather it could be like a vinyl or a plastic but I think it's leather I'm not sure but yeah it has these pockets on it as well which are like outlined I like the stripes on the cuffs um, I'm on two cheer teams one of my teams is my university I'm so out of breath I'm sorry one of my universe I'll start again one of my teams is my university's team and their colors are purple and red so this obviously it's red it matches with my university's team um and the black one is like pretty subtle so it's like fine and then my other team is my all-star team and their colors are red black and white and this is red black and white so it matches both of my teams in my opinion which is really like yes because if it was purple it only match one of them you know or if it was all black and white it would only match one of them but it's red so it matches both of my teams um which is really lucky um i love this jacket so much it has these white buttons up the middle if you want to like clip it up um really cute and then what i love is this my hair is all over it is this really cute um, back, it looks like this, and it says cheerleader, because I'm a cheerleader, love it, it's so cute, and then it zips up, so you see how it's like got these, like, I really like the way the curves look as well, I think that's really, like, cute and girly and feminine, I don't know, I just saw it on Glee and was always obsessed with it, let me zip it up, because what is really cool about jackets like this is you can actually zip up this middle part, and it becomes a hood, and now I have a hoodie. I never wear it like this because I just like the way it looks with like cheerleader written on the back, but um, there's a hood on it if you want to. So yeah, if I ever wanted to have a hood, if it started raining crazy, I could do this and it'd be really cute, but I rarely do that. I like the way it looks down. Also, this was really dirty when I first got it. Not really dirty, it was like a little bit dirty, um, but I was really scared to wash it because this is real wool um, and I don't really have any wool in my closet, so I didn't really know how to how to hang out with it. I didn't know how to do real wool. But I got it um dry cleaned and um, which is something that I never do because I'm really boring and my clothes aren't like exciting enough to get dry cleaned. But I dry cleaned this and I totally recommend getting stuff dry cleaned. It came out like a perfectly brand new like as you can tell there were like um maybe like one or two marks on the white part of the inside of the hood when I first got it. And now it's like pretty much flawless. Like, it came out so nice after I dry cleaned. Obviously, I bought it secondhand off Depop. It didn't come, like, disgusting or anything, but it wasn't, like, perfectly new. It was secondhand, obviously. Um, but after I dry cleaned it, it was amazing, and I'd worn it heaps, um, and it had, like, I don't know, it just wasn't perfect anymore. And then when I got it, there's a hair on it. When I got it back from the dry cleaners, like, the front is in such good condition now. It's, like, perfect. To me, this is, like, pretty much brand new. Oh, I just love this jacket so much. I wore it so much last winter. This is probably my most worn jacket last winter just because like I was really excited about it. I've been hunting for one of these for years. Um, but yeah, it's probably going to be my most worn one this winter as well. I don't know. We'll see what happens because things can change, but love this jacket. It's so cute. It's so varsity. It's so like cute and obsessed with it. Okay. What's my next jacket? I kind of like don't want to cut the clip because then 
you know, I have to start filming again and get in the mood again. Not really. I don't know. It's not that hard. This is my yellow jacket that I mentioned before. This is also from Dottie, a size 8. Um, the one that I got before I got my black one. This comes in other colours too, and I always consider getting another colour, but then I talk myself out of it because black and yellow are my go-tos. Yellow is actually my favourite colour. I know I just showed you, like, a bunch of other colours, but yellow is actually my favourite colour, and so, um, I really like having a yellow jacket. This doesn't actually clip. Um, that's kind of annoying that it's folded like that from my closet. I might need to, like, flatten that out. Um, but yeah, this doesn't have, like, clips on the side. It's not, um, exactly the same as my, um, black one that I have because, um, they kind of, like, change the style slightly, slightly every year that they come out with these. And I got this, like, a season before I got the black one. But again, it has these, like, little, um, clips on the side, silver hardware. I really like the shade of yellow that this is. I'm not sure if it's going to come up on camera, but you can kind of tell a difference between, like, this box that I have in this yellow. This is a really warm, kind of orange undertone yellow, and I really like it. I think it's a very beautiful, happy, sunshine kind of yellow shade. Um, this box is really misshapen now that I look at it. I've bumped it so much. Anyway, yeah, this yellow is like a really nice shade of yellow. Um, I really like this jacket. It has, again, a lot of the same details as the black one does that I've showed you already. The zips on the sleeves. Um, I think it looks really cute as well, layered with a hoodie. Like, if I wear a hoodie underneath this jacket, and the hoodie peeks out on the sides at the front here, like, peeking out here and, like, peeking out over the top, I think that looks really cute layered. Um, again, I like the, like, moto style. Ignore the fact that that's, like not staying open flat. Um, it has the details over here on the, why is everything unclipped? It's kind of random. Um, it has these details on the top and then it has a couple of zips. So it just has this one here and then it has, um, this kind of, I don't know what to call it. These aren't zip up pockets. They're just like normal pockets. That's the normal pockets. I feel like I have something in this one. Yeah. What is this? Oh my goodness. This is a story. Um, and then this one, I feel like I have a coin in it. Don't I? Maybe I took the coin out. Wait, this one's a fake pocket? Okay, well, I'll tell you about this, like, random dollar from this pocket. So another trip that I went to Taiwan, this is one of the only jackets I took with me to Taiwan because I knew that I'd be cold. Um, and it's, like, a really cute jacket, and I feel like it spices up any outfit. I brought a load of, like, boring outfits with me, and this yellow jacket made everything look really cute. Anyway, this is one dollar. Um, one of my friends... Okay, how do I explain it? We went to Taiwan to volunteer to teach a load of kids English, which was an amazing experience. And one of my friends' reward system for their kids is if they like did things right in their classroom. I wasn't teaching at the school, but if they did things right at the classroom, they'd get um, a dollar, a made up dollar, and these are their faces um, on their fake dollars. And they could trade in the dollars for prizes or something. I don't know, it was someone else's reward system, but geez, that was a memory to just randomly pull out of this pocket. That was a really random story. You're welcome that I told it because it was not relevant to anything and it probably benefited none of you. But there we go. There's a random dollar. I'm going to leave it in there so that I can remember that story another time next time I put this jacket on. Um, let's go put on another jacket now. Although I really just want to say that I love this jacket. 10 out of 10, recommend. Oh yeah, I was talking about how I wanted to get this in other colours. I've thought about getting dark green. I've thought about getting maroon, a hot red. And every time I talk myself out of it because yellow is my favourite colour and I have a black one. So... I think I'm going to stop, but maybe ne maybe next season they'll have a colour that I'm like, yes, I need it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Now, this jacket is one that I thrifted many, many years ago. Probably in my second last or last year of high school, I thrifted this, and it's so decent. It's a Beacon Sportswear USA size small, and it's a rugby union jacket, I believe. I don't even know, um, because I don't play rugby. Yeah, it's a Rugby World Cup France jacket. I know nothing about rugby, so don't ask me about that. I just bought this jacket because it was very practical. It says something about, like, Columbia Tours or something. Gulliver's Sport Travel. Yeah, that's what it says on the side. Um, but I love this jacket. I love this kind of material inside a jacket. I feel like it makes it windproof, in my opinion. I don't know. I just feel really warm when I wear jackets and, like, outerwear pieces and, like, pants and stuff with this material on the inside. It's very good. Anyway, this jacket is amazing. It has this secret little zip in here, so once I'm wearing it, I can, like, pop something in there and no one knows. Um, it looks so cute, in my opinion. Um, and it's quite long. It covers my bum which is adorable. Um, this is a very iconic piece in my wardrobe and I feel really nostalgic putting it on. It has a Velcro um, kind of hand spot, so you can Velcro it up to make it tighter or like leave it open to make it like looser, but um, love that. The color is kind of like a mustardy yellow. It's not as bright and sunshiny 
as um, this jacket, as you can tell. Like, this is kind of a duller yellow, but I don't mind. It's a little bit more of a neutral yellow. Um, this worked really well with my high school uniform. Um, we weren't supposed to, but sometimes I wore a jacket over my uniform because I was always so cold. Um, and on my uniform, with my year 12 jersey, there was like a yellow stripe across the front, and I felt like this went with like the colour of the yellow stripe. Also, I was just obsessed with yellow um, in my last year of high school. I still am. Um, and I felt like it like kind of went. Um, I'll zip it up to show you what it looks like. It's got a large, really durable um, zip that looks like this. Gee, I have really worn this jacket so much. This is such a nostalgic time. Um, so yeah, the jacket zips up with this really sturdy zip. It can zip up all the way if you want, and you can really be tucked in there. And it also has these um, buttons, so you can button over as well. It has these pockets up here. Wait, that's not a pocket, just this one is. Um, it has this, it's been a while since I've worn it. It's got this pocket up here. Um, it zips up and then it has these two pockets which have button closures over the top and these two zip up as well um, So in here and then you can just button over it after you zip it up if you want to zip it up But I don't usually because I don't know maybe if I put money in there I'd zip it up, but I'm usually not so yeah It has loads of like adjustable things, but I don't really use these you can adjust the sides and like make them tighter But this elastic is so old. It's all like bobbly and done for so I don't usually adjust this to make this like tighter around the bum or something because I feel like that would look kind of like I don't know I feel like it'd look weird so I don't do that it has a hood and the <coughs> the hood's really cool I'm like choking on my own saliva because I'm like blah 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 the hood's really cool because it's also adjustable so you can make it small and make yourself an egg I like to leave it big most of the time unless it's raining this is not a raincoat by the way this is not waterproof although you can wear it in the rain for a bit of rain and get away with it I wouldn't recommend it um, let me tuck my hair in so I can be a total egg. But yeah, when you zip it up um, all the way and have the rain coat, not rain coat, and have the hood done up, you're like totally an egg. Hopefully that's not the thumbnail. Um, and also, this hood's really cool because there's this compartment, and I only found out about this after owning the jacket for literally years. Um, you can actually tuck the hood in um, to the back of the jacket and it becomes a jacket without a hood, which I literally didn't even know about, which is so cool. Um, it's just such a versatile jacket and I've taken this with me again overseas and it was a really good jacket to travel with. Um, so underneath the hood here, there's actually a compartment and it velcros up and you can tuck the hood into the collar of the jacket here. Let me just shove it right in really messily for you. Um, and it makes it just a jacket with no hood. And I never knew about this after owning it for so long until one day I was just like playing around with it and I realised and I was like, oh my goodness. How did I not know this sooner? Because that's such a cool feature. I didn't do a very neat job, but you get the idea. You can tuck the hood into the collar of the jacket there. And then to get it back out, you just unclip it and it comes right out. It's so neat. I love it. Also, the top of the hood also has this like Velcro on it as well. So you can like, I don't know. I don't really use this function as much. You can kind of adjust the hood, make it smaller. I never really do, but it's cool that it's there. I love that this jacket has so many bells and whistles. Um, I wear it all the time um, a couple of years ago. I kind of stopped wearing it. It's also summertime um, right now here in Australia, but I'll probably bring it out again when it's winter. I just love this jacket. It's such an Emily classic. I've been offered money for this jacket before, um, but I could never part with it because it's a part of me. It's a part of my identity. Um, and, you know, I, I put myself in this jacket and the jacket put itself in me. So yeah, that's all I have to say about this jacket. Um, some people call it um, Emily's yellow jacket. It's, it's quite iconic, in my opinion, for myself, and it's important to me. So this is a very treasured piece and holds a very big place in my heart. Okay, next, this is another piece that you've seen me get from Depop. It's just a little Nike um, windbreaker hoodie. Kind of serves a similar purpose to the yellow one, except that it's not bright yellow. It's like a more subtle colour scheme. Um, it has these like little... What are they called? Like, I keep forgetting, like cuffs on the sleeves here. And then also on the bottom here, it also has these cuffs. It has that material that I love that's like that kind of, I don't know what to describe it as, but this like kind of bobbly, not bobbly, like mesh material. I feel like it's really good windbreaker material when you have like that mesh inside. And I love the zip on this jacket as well. I just, it's such a random thing to be into, but I like the detail on the zip of this jacket, um, how it's like a little Nike logo. I just thought that was really cute, how it's like a little tick and it says Nike. Um, I like the colorway, how it's black on the bottom and white on the top. I just think it's cute. Um, it has a hood as well. It is a little bit dangerous having the white on the top because I'm a very like cakey makeup person. And so a lot of the time I do get makeup on like this area of the jacket, it's not the best, but it always has washed off and I can't see any stains. So 
but that's okay. Um, it kind of sits higher up on the waist naturally because this part is like elasticated and kind of like comes up. So it kind of can be like a little bit more um, cinched, not cinched, like, I don't know, it's a little bit more cropped sitting a lot of the time. It has these zip up pockets on the side, which are really cute. Um, and then, yeah, it has this little red Nike um, logo on the side, which is a cute little detail. And I can pull it down to sit it on my actual like hip bones here if I want it to be a longer length. But yeah, um, I like it open most of the time, I feel, I don't know. If it was windy, I'd zip it up. But yeah, I actually really like this jacket and I'm glad I found it on Depop. Um, oh, actually, I didn't show you on my last jacket. Um, the back of it, for ventilation, is so cool. It's got like this panel. And so this panel can like lift up if you want. And then there's like, it just like gives you ventilation. It doesn't make you um, cold when you're wearing it on a cold day. But it is nice on a hot day for a little bit of breathability. Because like, it's got that little mesh going on underneath there. Um, I'll just show you what the back of the Nike jacket looks like, so you can have a visual. You can still find these on Z-Pop if you want, and you can get these in loads of different colorways. I used to have this in like orange and purple, and I just didn't really love the colorway as much, so I gave that to my mum. I don't know if she still has it, but um, it is really practical, so she probably does, um, but I just like it more in black and white. Okay, um, what is next, you guys? Okay, this is a denim jacket, and I got this from a general pants sample sale or like warehouse sale hmm, a couple years ago now maybe like three four years ago i don't know it's been a while um and it's just a denim jacket from inside it's a size small and i have bedazzled it with a couple of fun things i have um a couple of pins here this one is a sydney pin because i live in sydney i got this from like a tourist shop literally near the harbour bridge as though i was a tourist i thought it was funny um i got this 007 pin i love 007 i've watched all the films like a gazillion times um, these are some little cherry blossom pins that I got from, I think it was Glebe Markets years ago. There's a white one and a red one. I kind of want to add a pink one, but we'll see. I really like these pins. I think they just add a little, I don't know, something. I have this Gucci, um, ribbon here as well. This Gucci ribbon came from, um, the Gucci store. When you get, um, like the fragrances there, you can like spray them on ribbons. And, um, this was a ribbon that you could spray fragrance on. And instead of putting it in the bin, I tied it onto my jacket and it's been there ever since. Um, it's like really worn and stuff, but, um, I like it. I leave it there. Um, but yeah, this is an Insight Denim Jacket. It's a washed kind of, um, grey, black kind of colour. Maybe I need a true black denim jacket. I don't know. I don't really feel the need for one right now, but maybe one day I'll feel the need. Um, I like how washed in and vintage this looks. Um, this was probably like, I want to say like, it was less than 50 bucks. It was a long time ago that I bought it, but it was on quite a lot of discount, maybe like 20 bucks maybe. Um... It was affordable for a denim jacket especially. I like the shoulders, I like the length, I like the silver hardware. It has two pockets up here that um, close by um, these little silver buttons and it also has pockets on the side. Um, it also has these which aren't pockets but I use them as pockets sometimes. It's just where the um, this pocket goes in. That's the pocket there. So sometimes I use the front of the pocket in here as a secret pocket. And same on the other side, it has this pocket as well and I use the inside as a secret pocket behind my hand there. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, this is what the jacket looks like. I like the washed out kind of vintage vibes. I also have a really similar jacket in blue, but my sister is borrowing it at the moment because um, she's stolen it. No, I'm kidding. I said she could. And then she took a lip gloss. Anyway, we're not going to go into that. Um, but yeah, it's another vintage blue jacket that I have that's a similar kind of wash to this because I really like this kind of vintage wash of denim, especially for like an oversized vintage looking um, jacket. Um, and yeah, I really like my blue denim one. That was a gift from some friends for my birthday a couple years ago, and I love it. Um, and my sister loves it too, so she's borrowing it. But yeah, this is my black, grey kind of one. And I have a blue denim one as well that's a classic vintage kind of blue. I'll show you what colour, actually. It's kind of like this kind of a denim blue colour, if that makes sense. This is a pair of jeans I wore today. But yeah, it's kind of like this kind of a colour. Um, but yeah, this is my... Denim jacket. Love denim jackets. I think they're really classic and versatile and basic. Um, I remember I used to um, be obsessed with them when they were on Tumblr and I could never afford them. Um, but yeah, I think that everyone should have some denim jackets in their collection. At least a blue one. I feel like that's the most basic and versatile essential. Um, and they are good to layer with as well. I layer this with like um, a hoodie or something underneath and it layers really well. I used to have a yellow one but I decluttered it just because I feel like I like my yellow iconic Emily jacket and my yellow... Um, leather jacket more but um I used to have a yellow um denim jacket and I had a lot of fun with that one time when I went to Taiwan I brought it with me 
Um, this last jacket that I have to show you, yeah, I think this will be the last one I show you today. This is my last jacket I have to share with you guys, and it is another jacket that I bought from Taiwan. Yes, we've come full circle from the black one that I bought in Taiwan to now the last one, which is the brown one that I bought in Taiwan. And this jacket is another kind of trench coat style. It's again in that kind of like felt kind of material, but I have gone over this with a D-pillar, so it's in a lot better condition than my black one. This was really pilled up, and then I used that amazing D-pillar machine, and now it's like brand new again. It has this really nice um, structure to it that I really like, the way it lays across the front here. Um, it kind of gives me like cute Korean girl vibes. I don't know, if I was a cute Korean girl, maybe I'd wear this. It also gives me a little bit Jedi Knight vibes, because it's like a Jedi robe a little bit. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It has this tie-up um, waistband and it has these um, little, um, I don't know what to call these, like loops that keep it on around there. It has pockets at the front, just some really easy to access pockets. Um, and yeah, it just looks like this. It isn't lined or anything, it's just one thick, not thick thick, but like decently thick layer of um, felt. And I really like the tone of this. It's a really nice warm tone tan and I feel like it looks very good with my skin tone, my hair colouring, the nude lipsticks I always wear and all that kind of jazz. Um, it does have a hood but the hood does not have a pom-pom but I don't feel like this would suit a pom-pom. It's just like a hood like this. It kind of has a raw seam edge going up the top like that. Um, but yeah, I really like this hood. I like how the hood goes out. I like when hoods don't droop like this which it's currently doing. Um, I like when they kind of go out like that. I just feel like it looks cute, frames the face more nicely. Um, this is what the back of the jacket looks like. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I'll show you the length of it as well. The jacket is this long. My knees are down here. So it hits just above my knee. I can wrap it around and I feel like I'm wearing a dressing gown. Um, there's like fluff on it. Don't look at that. That's not usually there, I swear. It's a clean jacket. Um, but yeah. That's, I think, the last jacket I have to share with you guys. Um, I was hunting for a jacket like this when I was in Taiwan that trip that I bought this one and the black one together. I know, I bought so much clothes that trip because I went down with nothing. Um, but yeah, I was hunting for one like this for ages. I knew that I wanted a black trench coat and a tan trench coat, and so I really went out with those in mind, and I knew that I wanted like a felt wrap-up one because all the cute like girls were wearing them in Taiwan, and I wanted to be a cute girl too. Um, so yeah, that's the vision I had when I bought this jacket and I was really happy when I found it because it's the perfect one. There were other like colours that they came in like, um, I can't remember now. I didn't want to get in grey and I didn't want to get in a lighter colour or a darker brown. I feel like this is a perfect like camel brown. I feel like it's like perfect. Anyway, yeah, that is all the jackets I have to share with you. Thanks for listening to I me mean, rant for goodness knows how long. I have no idea. I'm about to edit this and I'm a little bit scared. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment anything you'd like to see from me in future down below. Tell me about your favorite jacket. Tell me which one out of my jackets you liked the most. Um, subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. Um, usually it's not this long, but it is kind of usually long because I am a rambler. Um, and I'll catch you in a future video soon. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye!